Hi there, I'm Jamie, and I'm the new Senior DevRel in Education here at N8N. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up Google OAuth authentication. This will allow you to connect Google Sheets and other Google services to your workflows. You're gonna need two things, a Google Cloud account and your N8N instance. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is create a Google Cloud project. So head over to cloud.google.com, and if you already have a console account, you can click on console, if not, click on start free. Once we're in here, you wanna click on the project dropdown on the top left, and then create a new project by clicking new project. Let's name it something useful, and click create. It'll take a couple of seconds to create it. Once that's done, you'll be able to select it from the project selector. The next step is we need to enable the APIs for the services we want to use. To do that, we click on menu, Come down to API and services, and then click on enable APIs and services. The first one we're going to enable is sheets because that's what we're using. Click on enable. While it's enabling, I'm gonna enable a couple of other common ones I use, which include calendar, mail, drive, Drive is also needed for other services, so it's best to enable it now. Oops. And that's all we'll need. The next thing we need to create is the OAuth consent screen. You can do that from the APIs and services page. Click on OAuth consent screen on the left, then click get started. Give the app a name, N8N's a good one. Select your account, click next. If you're using a Google Workspace account, then internal will be available. If not, select external. That's usually because you're using a Gmail account like I am. Set up a support account. Agree to the services and click continue. Now let's create that OAuth consent screen. The next thing we need to do is we need to create the OAuth client. This will give us the client ID and the secret that we need to put into the credentials for NAN. Click create OAuth client. The kind of application will be web application. Give it a name that's useful. I think NAN client's a good one. And the only thing we need to do is we need to add a redirect URI. This is available in the credential setup. So come back to your instance. Let's create a new credential, and we just need to click to copy. Take this back into the console, paste it, and click create. You do get your client ID, so it's easy to copy it here, and then paste it in. Go back to console, click OK. Now to get the client secret, we click in on the client, click copy, go back to your credential, click paste. If everything's set up correctly, then you'll get the sign in with Google. If you sign in with Google now, you will get an application blocked error because the app is in test mode. I'll show you what I mean. What we can do to fix this is we can go back to the Google console, click on audience, and then publish the app. By publishing the app, you won't get the access blocked error and you also won't need to re-authenticate your app every seven days. Now go back to your credentials, click sign in with Google, sign in with the account we just added as a test user. It hasn't been verified, but you can continue anyway. Select all, continue, and we're connected. It's best to name this something useful. I'm gonna call this Google Auth, as I can use this for other Google nodes as well. Who's that? Now let's test this. What am I doing? I'm creating a new spreadsheet called my N8N created sheet. And inside of that, it's got sheet one. Now, if we come over to sheets, there is our spreadsheet. Leave a comment below on what other videos you'd like to see, and I'll do my best to build them for you. Thanks for watching and happy flowgramming.